going on guys will with gutter fighting secrets welcome back to another warrior wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior today's topic is going to be a little bit different than our normal talks about warrior ethos warrior psychology warrior philosophy partly because um i'm currently traveling i cannot tell you where uh sounds cool doesn't it actually is kind of cool but i have been very busy and i honestly haven't had the chance to make any notes on this stuff you guys probably realize sometimes i'm like looking over at my other screen and looking at my notes while we talk about this stuff but you know i've been sitting here for about 20 minutes in front of the damn camera and i haven't been able to really come up with a good topic so you know i decided to talk about something that's really super important for the warriors out there there's going to be more on a physical level, but it's also psychological and mental as well. The topic at hand today is staying in good physical fighting condition. Let me mute this. Otherwise, it's going to ring all freaking ding, 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 all, all freaking the whole talk. Staying in good physical fighting shape. Um, this is something that, above all, you should be doing. Um as a warrior, whatever stripe, whatever flavor of warrior you are, if you will, whether you're a professional martial artist, whether you're in the military, um, whether you're in the civil service, whether you're whatever, right? Whatever brand of warrior you are, the first and foremost thing that you should be doing is staying in good physical fighting shape. There should be a baseline of physical conditioning that you are able to perform at. And I would say that this is relatively similar yet different for every individual, right? We all have injuries that we need to work around, especially as you get older. We all have different levels of physical expectations from who we are and what we do. And I'm I'm not going to attempt to map out your level of physical readiness, but there is a bare minimum, I think, level of physical readiness that we should be able to perform at. And I get it. If you're a busy, career-driven, oriented dude, um, if you're always traveling, whatever, you it's hard to maintain like a top-tier level of physical performance. However, there's really no excuse to not have a baseline level of physical ability and physical performance that you should be able to run. You should be able to run at least one mile at least one mile without getting too winded. You should be able to do a bare minimum of like 50 push-ups and so many crunches or some kind of ab exercise like that. Um you should be able to lift so much weight. Now, weight's highly dependent on like your size and how long you've been lifting weights and everything, but you should be able to move a certain amount of dead weight. These are like very minimalistic expectations that <clears throat> anybody would have of your physical ability as a warrior, as a fighter, right? And obviously, if you're a fighter, if you're an amateur or professional fighter, you're you're expected to perform at literally top tier levels of physical performance. That's like getting up in the morning and doing a run, doing your road work, two, three miles, and then going and training, right? And then doing weights, and then probably in the evening going back for some more training and sparring or whatever, right? Like that's that's elite levels of physical performance. Um, that's the area that I enjoy performing in personally. Although sometimes as a 38-year-old bro, I got to like rein that back. And certainly, you know, when I travel the way that I have been recently, it's... um. It's unrealistic to expect that, but there is a baseline that we need to be able to perform at. You need to be getting up and doing your cardio. I'm not saying you you do it on an empty stomach, you do it on a full like don't do it on a full stomach, but you do it later at night. Whatever you need to do it, and that baseline level of physical performance as far as your cardio goes, three weeks, three three weeks, three days per week, honestly should suffice. If you're able to run, run. If you're able to bike, bike, swim. I don't care what it is. Get your cardio in. Cardio is to some degree transferable. And you know what? If you ever are in a physical altercation, you're going to need all the cardio you can freaking get. Believe me. <laughs> it's not as simple as like, well, I'll, 
I'll end the fight in the first 10 seconds. No, you won't. No, you won't. You might. You might. If you're lucky. If you're super lucky, you might. But uh, I don't think you will. Um, <clears throat> and after about... <laughs> After about 20 seconds of all out freaking swinging for the moon, right? You're going to wish that you had more cardio, even if you've been doing cardio five days a week, right? I, trust me, I know. So if you need to haul ass because there's gunshots ringing off or some shit went down, um, you're going to wish you did more cardio, right? It, it doesn't matter what the scenario is. We could put all these bullshit scenarios together. But when it comes down to it, between the mix of adrenaline and... <coughs> Everything happening all at once and confusion and the physical level that you're going to need to be able to perform at, you're, you're going to need like more cardio than you have. <laughs> Put it to you like that. It's so important. So do your freaking mode work, guys. And again, I don't care what kind that is, but lifting weights is not cardio. Don't fool yourself. Unless you're like, my buddy just broke his tibia in a Muay Thai fight. He's forced to get his cardio from lifting weights. Cardio. All right. Okay. That's going to be until he's healed enough to start like moving around again. But even then, you could probably do some battle ropes or something like that. There's really not much excuse to like let your cardio go. As a fighter, as a warrior, you need that. Okay. And as of just any individual period, like you need that. And I don't even care if it's like 15 minutes of hit endurance training. It's way better than nothing. You're not that busy that you can't do that. I promise you. Don't give me any fucking excuses. I don't want to hear them. And again, the baseline level of physical strength, push-ups. If you can't get to a gym, boo-hoo, whatever, push-ups. Okay, burpees are a great freaking tool, right? Burpees, you can do them. You can do them anywhere. That's why prisoners do them. So don't give me this shit, all right? <clears throat> you can do air squats. You can do burpees. You can do tricep dips on a bed, right? Like, there's no reason to be out of physical condition. And if you are, stop it, okay? Don't even pretend like you're some kind of a warrior or a fighter if you're overweight. And I'm saying significantly overweight. Like, <clears throat> you're not. But if you want to become that, you can. And you can start now. Like, start doing push-ups right now while you listen to this. It's that urgent because this is your life. And if you're one of the people that listen to this, guess what? We need you. You're a good person. And we need you. So get in physical shape. Now, I could sit here all night and offer you my ideas on <clears throat> warrior fitness. Right? I could tell you, oh, deadlifts are great. I could tell you... Blah, blah, blah. Bench presses, deadlifts, squats, right? Like these types of things. Um, practical application exercises. Bicep curls are fantastic. They give you a good feeling. They make your biceps get pumped up and they give you nice arms, right? But as far as like practicality, you need to be able to freaking pick up dead weight. You need to be able to carry dead weight on your shoulders, right? You need to be able to pick another man up a heavier man than you because when you went on all reality, when do you fight somebody that's exactly your size or smaller? Rarely. It's almost always a bigger dude that wants to fight you. So get used to it. Get a partner, pick him up and walk with him. Okay. I know it sucks. Like when I first started doing that for MMA, like my back would get hurt. I've got already a fucked up back, but I got used to it and I'm doing it. All right. Like just do it. Work your way in. Don't be smart. Be smart about it. But Get, get to that point where you can do it. It's a good feeling. Pull-ups, okay? You never know where you need to pull yourself over a wall, right? Flat out. Um, <clears throat> these things are all super freaking important. And if you don't have your physical health, well, your mental health is faltering as well. I hate to say it, but it's true. I need you to be able to get in good physical fighting condition if you're not already, at least to a baseline level. Um... Let's do 7.30. Sorry, I know this is like wildly inappropriate. I have to respond to this. Um, <clears throat> you need to get yourself to a physical 
a, a level of physical condition at least to a baseline level. If you want to go further with it and like be at this be at the point where you can freaking like take off and run for three miles, like good, good, awesome, do it. Uh, but if nothing else, like you need to be able to walk for a couple of miles with a heavy, you know, with semi heavy pack on and like run for a mile. Um, you need to be able to like pick up heavy shit and put it down and not be too like physically exhausted. And personally, I say you need to be built, be able to pick up like a full grown man and move him around for a while without like dying from it. <laughs> and then as far as your diet goes, look, it sucks. Okay. I love to eat junk. Like I love it. It's one reason I, I like raccoons, like trash eaters. Right. But like, I, I love, I love food, but don't do it, man. Like eat clean, bro. <laughs> eat clean, bro. Because your body needs the minerals and the protein and the macros and the mu whatever. Right. Like <clears throat> as somebody who's physically training, your body needs a certain level of vitamins and minerals that it doesn't get from like multivitamins. Right. So we get that through our diet, certain, certain amount of protein. I I'm not one of those guys who like sits there and eats three protein shakes a day anymore, but your body needs a certain level of protein for recovery, a certain, you know, level of various nutrients from, you know, plants and fruits and things like this <clears throat> as well. So do your due diligence, look into it and eat clean. We don't know what's going to happen in the world. It's a scary place right now. But <clears throat> if you're in good physical fighting shape <clears throat> and you know that you can handle it, it's less scary, I promise you. And I think that most of the men who watch this Warrior Wednesday series, probably already there. But if you're not, this is your wake up call. Get there now. Start today. Start tomorrow and do it. If you need any help with it, hey, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be absolutely happy to put together a meal plan for you, a workout routine for you. I'm going to charge you for it. So don't like waste my time. But I'm more than happy to do that. That's something that we do. I know this wasn't our typical Warrior Wednesday, but I felt it necessary to come and talk about this with you gentlemen and put it out there because <clears throat> you get the feeling like it's going to be important. The way the world's going, it's just crazy. And I want, I want everybody out there, all the good people out there, right? To be good to go, to be ready. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Don't forget to check out gutterfightingsecrets.com. We've got all of our online training programs available up there for you guys. It's pretty simple. Click, boom, you got it. Direct download, and you can start training from there. We've also got cool shirts coming out <clears throat> all the time. Swag, whatever you want, all there on gutterfightingsecrets.com. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already give us the thumbs up drive us up in the algorithm let's get this community of warriors going guys and i'll see you this weekend for another hand-to-hand -hand combat video all right thanks for watching cheers mother flowers